Hi folks. So I have a bit of a dilemma. Yesterday Jake and I met to come up with content because we're going to be home for the next few weeks and home is kind of boring. We just like go to work and then go home. So we sat down to brainstorm and the brainstorm turned into this. And I was feeling super <laughs> uncreative. So I turned on the old internet, fired up the internet, and I found six ways to help boost your creativity. And I'm gonna share those with you. Are you ready? Number one, listen to music. Now you can listen to whatever music you want, but there's a bunch of studies out there that say listening to Mozart uh, boosts your creativity. Specifically, there's a song, I gotta look it up, can't remember off the top of my head. It is Sonata for Two Pianos in D. They say this is supposed to boost your, boost your creativity and they did a, a study uh, where some students that were gonna take a test Half the students listen to Mozart, half the students listen to something else, the other half didn't listen to anything. And the folks that listened to Mozart got better scores on their tests. Now this doesn't work for everyone, that was a very clear disclaimer in this uh, info that I found, but we're gonna try it out. The second one, is to sit outside of the box. So I've clearly already did it wrong. Hang on. Another study said that when you sit outside of the box, not actually in the box, so this idea of thinking outside of the box, uh, you do better. They had two people, one person sit inside a box, the other sit outside, and then brainstorm just ideas. And the person that sat outside of the box brainstormed way more ideas than the person that sat inside the box psychology. But like, what do I do? Do I just wait here now? Like, I'm not sure. There weren't any instructions once you got out of the box. Come on, creativity. No, don't look at the box. You are beyond the box. <laughs> the next one is to stare at the color blue or green. Researchers say that by doing this, it helps with cognitive tasks like problem solving or coming up with new ideas. And they say the reason that you should look at the colors blue or green is because blue reminds you of the sky and massive large possibilities and green signifies growth, you know, like grass. So let's try it out. I mean, the blue's really pretty. The green? Meh. I don't know. Grass. Makes me think of golf. I'm kind of bored. I think this one defeated the purpose. <laughs> the next one is to lie down. And it's supposed to help with brainstorming. However, they did do a disclaimer that you shouldn't do this during a meeting with other people. At least I think they can handle it. If not, they said do this by yourself or with one other person. Do you have any ideas yet? <laughs> what you can see is Jake's actually laying down too. He's just laying across the table. <laughs> this is a team effort on this one. I will say this, it's pretty comfy down here. I do kind of want to go to sleep though. Oh, I just fell asleep. The next one is meditation. I do this at home, but I've never done it at work before. And they say meditation helps with divergent thinking, which divergent thinking basically means to help generate a bunch of ideas. So, I'm gonna try one. Welcome to the three minute breathing space. Bring your awareness into the present moment and noticing what's here and arising for you in this moment. The next one, exercise your eyes. Moving your eyes back and forth from left to right is supposed to simulate your left and right brain hemispheres to help uh, boost creativity. So here we go. I'm tempted to move my head. I'm dizzy. It hurts. I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> We're done with that one. The last one is to go for a walk. You could do inside or outside, but I wanted to go outside. They say going for a walk reminds you of being a child and playing on a playground, and it also activates usually all five of your senses. Go. So those were the six things that I tried to boost my creativity. Uh, I think I need to lean into a few of those a bit more. Some of them are silly. But I came back to my desk because I did have a couple ideas as we were going through that. I realized as we were doing this that when I went on a family trip to Kenya with my family, we filmed a bunch of vlogs like every day that I haven't gotten to yet, that I haven't looked at. I secretly don't know if my parents are gonna want them to live online, but like, it's an option. It did make me think of something that I had forgotten that I had. I guess all in all, some of these worked. So I challenge you folks to try these. Or if you have other ideas on how you've boosted your creativity, definitely a 
you know, let me in the con let me know in the comments below. That's it. We're excited to bring you some new content. We'll keep trying some of these things and pumping out some new videos. Folks, thanks for always watching and coming back. We really appreciate it. As always, you're a new best friend. Call us every five minutes. Goodbye. I can see my chins. Yeah, see? I can store food in there. And we'll squirrel.